Bang! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Chris is back and today we're going to talk about the differences between pin up and pin down. I've done this a couple different times and every time I did it, the reactions and it's been a net positive. You guys have really liked when I've gone pin up versus pin down. So today we're going to see how pin up versus pin down affects the Storm Night Road. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like the jersey I'm wearing or the jersey that Chris is wearing, make sure to go to coolbake.com and use my promo code NAPOLIS10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order the Night Road or anything bowling related. It's the best way to help support the channel. The best way to keep Chris around because he's expensive. All right, so what is the difference between pin up and pin down? In a nutshell, the pin is above the fingers, means pin up. If it's below the fingers, it means pin down. Well, damn, Lewis, what does that mean for ball motion? What does that mean for the tech of the core? So the Storm Night Road features the inverted FE squared technology core, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.57, which is very high, and a max differential of 0.046. Okay, so if you drill a ball pin up, it's going to increase the differential and decrease the RG. So it's actually gonna make the ball hook a little bit more and actually a little bit sooner. Then when you drill it pin down, it's just gonna be the opposite. It's going to decrease the differential and increase the RG. So basically, I'm tr and I'm, I try to do this as layman's terms as possible because I know that the vast majority of my viewers aren't super high level tech savvy players. So pin up, the ball's gonna be a little bit sooner, hook a, flare a little bit more, more flare means more hook, and it's gonna respond to the friction harder. More snap. More snap, yes. But it doesn't mean longer, more angular. It means it's gonna read the friction sooner. And then pin down, because it's gonna de decrease the differential, means that the hook potential is gonna come down, and because the RG is gonna be higher, it's gonna be a little bit longer. So a little bit longer, a little bit weaker, a little bit smoother overall. So, wow, that's a lot of tech. We don't know what Chris's uh, layout numbers are for these balls because these are both my balls. But for me, the pin up one is 30 by four by 30. And the pin down one is 30 by four by 70. I only trained, I only changed the valve angle to keep as much of it the same as possible. And the surface of these are 4K fast. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any pin down bowling balls or why or why not. For me, all my stuff is pin up for the videos, but the last two pin down balls I drilled, I really like the Zen and the Gem. So if, if this continues to be the trend, I might drill a little bit more bowling balls pinned down. We're gonna be here at South Point on lane two on a fresh, typical house shot. All right, first shot of the video here, we're both gonna start in the pin up one, and then I'll let you guys know when we go from the pin up to the pin down. Yeah, that hooked almost more than I thought it was gonna hook, so same spot. Still getting a feel for these lanes. All right, so this is gonna be Chris's first shot with the pin up night road. He's gonna start five left of me, and then we'll see what happens here. Oh my God. All right, so this is again, still the pin up one, same spot. I think it looks pretty fantastic. Nice four pin. All right, first shot here with the pin down night road. I suspect that it, since it's gonna flare so much less, it might even appear to hook more down lane. Yeah, we got him, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna move left off that shot. It's using less up front, so it has to use a more down lane. Let's see how this looks when I move in a little. All right, so Chris is gonna to go to the same spot. And I think the big thing to remember here is that that pin down one, it's increasing that RG, so it's getting way further down lane. Wow, that was way longer, way smoother. Yeah. So again, a big thing to remember here is that the ball can either hook in the front part of the lane or it can hook in the back part of the lane. And this pin down one is really pushing it to the back part of the lane. Dude, that is so long. All right, so I'm back in the pin up one again. Gonna move like two right. Just because it's, it's a little, it's reading it so much earlier. All right, so I think right now I prefer the pin up one. 
But we'll see how that changes, if that changes as we progress here. That hooked a lot. All right, so Chris is back on the lanes now in the pin up one. He's gonna move three and one left off his last shot. Pretty good shot. Huh? All right, so Chris is going to the same spot. Just make sure he gets the ball right. Another big thing to remember is that with this night road, it's not really a ball that we're gonna throw on the fresh anyway. It's really gonna be a transitional ball. Good shot. All right, so now we're gonna go back into the pin down one. It's gonna stay pretty left here and just really make sure we roll it. So I think honestly, the pin down one's forcing me a little bit further left, but I think it's more reliable, especially down lane. I think I like the pin down one more. All right, so this is Chris again in the pin down one from the same spot he just struck at with the pin up one. Really to show the shape differences. Yeah, you're gonna like the pin up one more for sure. I'm going to try to spare Chris's, uh, Chris's nasty leave here. Bang! All right, so that split conversion was for all the haters who says I can't shoot spares. So Chris is going to move left now on this pin down one. Push! All right, so we just got done throwing, what, eight shots each with the pin up one and the pin down one. And I think that this is gonna be a really good video. Chris is a rev dominant player, right? That's pretty fair to say, who tracks a little bit lower. I am more of a balanced, more balanced style. Definitely a lower rev rate when compared to Chris. And the ball that we like is different. And I think that's an important thing to remember. Chris for sure matched up more with the pin up one. I read it, you know, he's a little bit higher ball speed, higher rev rate. He wanted to hook a little bit sooner and not hook so much down lane. Because remember, if the ball's hooking in the front, it's not hooking in the back and then vice versa. For me, because my ball speed's a little bit lower, I was forced a little bit further left with that pin down one, but the way it came off the back, yes, it, it hooked more down lane, but it was way rounder off the spot, way smoother off the spot. More hook doesn't necessarily mean better. Yes, exactly. More shape doesn't necessarily mean better. And so I think this is going to be a really good video. So if you guys are more of a rev dominant uh, or higher rev rate uh, player like Chris, really take a look at drilling something like this pin up. And then if you're someone maybe a little bit more like me, lower rev rate, a little bit more balanced, really, really take a look at the pin down one. All right, back in the pin up night road and I'm gonna move a little bit left just to see all right let's move left with both of them all right still in the pin up one gonna move three left this is basically where I am with the pin down one All right, so Chris is back in the pinup one. He's gonna move a little bit left. He said he's gonna to try to get to 35. 35 check, ball! Yeah, we gotta move right off that. All right, so he's gonna move back right. That spot on 35 is where the pin down one looked really good for him. The pin up one just used up the energy so much more in the front. That's a really good shot though. All right, back in the pin down one. Gonna move a little bit further left. I think, I think right now I'm liking the pin down one more. Missed in. I have to really stop missing in. All right, same spot. I'm gonna make sure I get the ball projected more to the right here. All right, Chris is back in the pin down one. Looking like he's gonna try to finish around 37, 38 with his feet. Let's see how this looks, 38. Wow. All right, Chris is gonna go right back to that same spot, maybe soften up a little bit, see if he can get it to be a little bit more flush, especially since he almost six pinned on that last shot. 
That's a good shot. Oh, the messenger. All right, back in the pinup one. And I think I'm gonna stay, like I'm not gonna move left with the pinup one. I think I'm gonna keep the, the pin down one and chase that one left. Yeah, I like that one from straighter. Yeah, I think with this pin up one, I'm gonna stay a little bit straighter and then chase the pin down one left. And then maybe because of Chris's rev rate or his speed or whatnot, he has them a little bit closer together than what I have them. But that's pretty good. Yeah, you could tell the pin up one wants to read a little sooner. All right, let's see how this pin down. I think this is just the same spot. Ooh, dirty nine pin, man. All right, back in the pin down one, and then like I said, I'm just gonna keep chasing the down one left, and the up one I'll stay right with. All right, I'm actually gonna move a hair right off that, see if I can make that be a little bit more flush. my god how many messengers am i gonna miss all right chris back in the pin down one and again it's been pretty consistent that the pin down one has shaped more for us because it's so much longer yeah you got to move right all right so off that last shot chris is going to move a little bit right and then again staying in the pin down one oh there we go so i think or I find it interesting that for me, the differences between the pin up one and the pin down one are significantly larger than the differences for Chris. The pin down one still shapes more down lane for both of us, or maybe not shapes more down lane. It creates more motion or hooks more down lane. And that's because the RG being so much higher, it's forced to use up more of its energy in the back part of the lane. But for me, I have them at least like seven or eight boards difference. What about you? And he's about four. And again, I'm playing them both a little bit straighter than what Chris is playing them. Chris is pretty far left of both of them. So now we're gonna get back on the lanes, finish up this video here, hopefully on a, on a positive note. I'm gonna actually keep moving right with the pin up one and move left with the pin down one. Yeah, all right, let's get on the lanes. All right, back in the pin up one for me. And I'm, like I said, I'm gonna move a little bit further right because I think it looks a little bit better from straighter. Yeah, I, I think I like this more from straight than when I have to shape it. That's probably the best shot I've thrown today. All right, this is Chris in the pin up night road, and he's gonna be at about 30 right now with his feet. So a little bit straighter overall. Yeah, you gotta move more right. All right, so he's gonna move a little bit further right still, keep it more in front of him. This pin down one just wants to read the front so much more. I think that's gonna be really good. Good shot. So somewhere in between would have been a really good, yeah. All right, now back in the pin down one. I think I'm about eight boards left with my feet with the pin down versus the pin up one. That's a really good shot. All right, and then I'll do one more shot from here and then we'll take it back over to Chris. Now my best shot. And then back in the pin down one here with Chris. And I hope you guys are really seeing like the big difference that drilling the pin up versus pin down with everything else being the same. Yeah, see, I feel like my pin down one hooks more than yours. All right, so Chris is actually gonna move his feet right a little bit here and get this pin down night road going a little bit more up the lane. And I think that should be pretty good. That looks really good. All right, I'm back in the pin up one and then it just, it looked too good from straight to really get away from that. Mm. I'm gonna move two left off that 10 pin. This is gonna be my last shot in the pin up one. We're gonna finish the video in the pin down one. All right, and then Chris is back in the pin down one. 
Again, just want to get it going up the lane. It's crazy how much more you match up with a pinup one. And then again, this is why I just love having Chris on the videos, just completely different styles and we both match up with each of these balls differently. That, 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 that boom. All right, my pin down one. I'm gonna move a again a little bit further left. This is the furthest left I've been the whole time. All right, last shot for me from, for this video. And I'm gonna move again, another three left of the pin down one. Bang! All right, two more shots here with Chris, both in the pin down one. He said he's at about 33 right now. Looks like he finished at 32. Yeah, it's crazy how different they are for both of us. That's it. All right, Chris is gonna move a little right here. He was just telling me how this is exactly why he never drills pin down stuff. And knowing your game and what matches up is just so important. That's a good shot to end the video. All right, so we just got done going over what the difference between a pin up bowling ball is and a pin down bowling ball is featuring the Storm Night Road. And again, the biggest thing is the how it's gonna change the core dynamics. And then Chris just got done telling me that he almost never drills pin down bowling balls. And that's for a reason. It seemed like it didn't really match his game a whole lot. Because Chris has such a high rev rate, such a high ball speed, he wants balls that are gonna read the fronts a little bit more. For me, my best shots are when my tempo is nice and low. When I'm not rushing, my feet are nice and slow. When I, and because of that, I don't need anything that's gonna hook early in the front part of the lane. I need stuff that's gonna clear the fronts. And I think that this pin down night road is gonna be the one that's really gonna open up my eye in my brain about drilling more stuff pinned down. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, and so I think that going forward, Chris is probably, I'm, I'm just gonna give this ball to Chris. You can have it. All right, cool. So again, don't be afraid to drill pin down if you think it'll help your game. Definitely. If you don't think it's gonna help your game, then don't. And if you don't know, use a ball and yeah. experiment. I think that's another really big thing. If, you, if you're not sure, then take a bowling ball that you already have drilled, plug it, drill a pin down so that you can see and test it because you never know, you might love it. Take a ball you don't like, drill a pin down, it might be game changer. Yeah. All right, so let us know in the comments if you guys liked it, this kind of educational style video going over like pin up versus pin down, stuff like that. Going forward, I do want to do more of these with more bowling balls just to really show you guys how much of a difference or how much of an influence pin up versus pin down, surface, whatever the case may be, can have on the bowling ball. Click over here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Me and the pin down night road are gonna go back on the lanes and throw a couple more strikes.